this is my window frame, and I have these. This, this, this is this is four sections of wood. I actually have a um, synthetic one that I can use, but the synthetic one takes about 24 hours to cure because it, instead of using screws, it uses a, a, a silicon some like a silicon adhesive, and I don't have that kind of time. So I'm going to be using the wood. It's not a per completely perfect fit, but it'll it'll do. So. I have to get the, I have to screw it in. I'm gonna take a pencil, find the hole, mark it. This is the, the compressor I'm going to be using. Um, obviously, mine's a lot bigger. Probably can sustain it a little more without to keep on refilling. But beggars can't be choosers, and I'm um, happy to have it. It used to be about between 60 and 100 psi. So I stapled around just to kind of keep it from moving on me. So let's hope this is the right part. Looks like it is. This even says. Bow above rear window, bug convertible 1972 to 79. So, yep, that's what we wanted. So, yay, we can get to work on this. It's kind of interesting, it's kind of, I think it's a little heavier than what I was expecting. A lot, a lot heavier than the wood, of course, but, um, yeah. Okay, so I got the, the bow, and it's the right, of course, it's the right part, but something I didn't realize, and this is that this is steel reinforced synthetic material. So, about halfway in, there's a metal bar or a metal, you know, metal flat bar that's, that's in, in here, and so you can't really use like long wooden screws in here because you get you, you, you know, so. I had to come up with a little different way of doing this, and that is, um, I drilled a pilot hole all the way through, and so there's still some of that metal in there, there's metal, the metal in there, and I'm using a, um, a uh, 5 8 inch number six screw in there, and it's just enough to grab into the metal and kind of hold it in place. The, uh, I tried a, a half inch or three quarters inch, um, um, or sorry, uh, yeah, I, tried, I tried a three quarters inch, and it was a little too long. Um, so, yep. So now I just have to basically drill some more pilot holes, and um, and uh, well, I need to mark them. I need to get this rig back up again and, and mark them, and uh, then I'll be able to install the bow. Here it is. Here it is. This is tells you all the steps and they do a really good job with it so
one more to do. So I got these three holes. And I got these three holes. <laughs> I just sheared the screw off. I mean, it's in there. That's not good. Why do things always have to be difficult? And this one's uh, sheared off too. Holy poop. I have, to, I, have to, I have to basically take this all out and get this and extract the screws. <sighs> Too much torque. Why did you have to run out of battery? Broken off head, broken off head, broken off head. Broken off head. You know, it's funny. I called West Coast Metric and they said I should talk to Bob, or not Bob, Chuck's they don't have any they sell it they make them but they don't have any advice on on actual um, installation they referred me to chucks oh, I might have made a little progress with this one maybe Yep, this is coming. Okay, this pissed me off. Hopefully I can work on, on getting the, the headliner at least somewhat in. I don't need, don't need to do any more drilling or, or things, but I, I won't be able to actually do the bow part of the headliner. I can't do any of the attachments until tomorrow. I gotta get, I figure out, wait, so, okay, either I get machine screws and use nylock nuts and countersink it so it goes in there and then just not staple into that part but just glue over it if, if that's where that or if that's a point where that, that gets glued that's why I can think of doing it because right now because there's a big, big piece of metal in the middle of that I can't use traditional screws because what happens is they get stuck and that's the reason why they got they got sheared and my problem is I'm going to have to drill out that whole section with a larger, larger rope. So I should have had my wife bring stuff. Um, I think they're on their way with Claire and stuff, but um, yeah, they should be here probably in the next 15, 20 minutes. But yeah. Hey, at least it's, I've given this at least a good 24 hours for this to cure. And it's been warm, it's warm in here. I'm sweating, so. Okay. Let's, uh, let's move on. I thought this would be like a regular piece of wood, but because in order to keep it from flexing, they reinforce it with, with metal and it's steel, so. And it's, it's pretty heavy too. So, anyway, so we're now, my daughter's here, uh, so I'll, I'll be reinstalling this tomorrow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill out the holes tonight and uh, uh, when I get home and uh, get a, see if I can have the machine screws in here. But um, anyway, point is, Claire's here. We're gonna start working on the headliner and uh, just breathe. 
Just breathe. Claire, breathe. So, all right, let's get to it. Is this on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. So don't bump it. Hello. Hello. Okay. So. Okay. Now, okay, with the top latch to the windshield, which it is, measure distance shown here from front of header bow to center first tubular bow. So this should, should be 18 inches. Okay, so from from the edge of that, there I got. Okay, that's 18 and a half inches. Okay, that's what it says. 18.5. 18. Oh, 18. Hmm. If I slide it over here, it's 18. <laughs> okay. So now the next step. Go to the front of the headliner. Okay. No. no! Claire! Okay. So... It does. It looks like a band-aid. Could... I just want to make sure so it stays on the table. Okay. Not bad, Curtis. So this says to measure 18 and a half inches from the listing. Is it the full, uh, the front listing? Yeah. So from this listing, 18, 18 and a half inches. Why don't you have a real tape measure? This is a real tape measure. Thank you. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. It is. Okay, probably right there. Uh, you can't see this very good. Okay, so from this edge of the listing here, which is basically where things are stitched, and we want to go 18 and a half inches, so I'll mark it here. What if we do it wrong, then what? I don't know. Then we just die? and mark on both sides left and right of the headliner where it's stitched along the sides so it's right here okay we're gonna do the same thing on this side you want to go and do this one no. why not you just said no okay the edge of it Edge of it goes right where the stitch is. We and you had a real tape measure, this wouldn't be a problem. This, it is a real tape measure. It's not. This thing is off the There we go. There? Yeah, let's bring it, bring it in a little bit more. Do it toward this way. So I mean, so the no, I mean So there. I would say have it touch where the stitch is. So yeah, right there. So I did the first time. Okay. You know, you mean. So 18. Or hard way at the camera frame. I know, it's okay. You can't even draw a straight line. Oh, that's pretty close. Okay. That part's done. What's next? And it says cut one layer of material as shown between the stitching on each side and up to the mark you made on the headliner A is shown. Oh, what? it's cutting. What? Okay, so this is the um, this is the, this is this part right here. So they cut a bit of it like that, right? Yeah, because it's kind of in the middle. Oh, this is this is that mark, right? They made right. So it would have to be, yeah. Okay. I don't get it. Well, this next step is going to be a lot easier, but this step I'm just still, I'm still, this is where we put the metal rod through the other side. The thing I don't understand is, I thought that I'd be getting a lot longer straps than this, but this evidently stops on the, 
on the um, wood bow, but I don't have any other stra strap or webbing that came with my top. So not sure if I'm missing some stuff. Which one is thin? The, the new one? one? Yeah, right. That's thin because it's been it's been stretched out and it's been. Do I take this off? Wait, no, 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 no. We're gonna we're gonna kind of cut. We're gonna cut it off and then we're gonna. Why do we cut it? Then we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I don't think there's an end to it, is it? Oh. Why'd you cut it? Why'd you okay. gonna do that? So we're gonna make. I guess I want you to make a loop at the end. A really tight one like this one. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, first of all, you want to you want to slide this on on one side. Well, give me. I did. It won't go on. It will. It's not. It's too frayed. Then, wait, there it goes. Okay. Now, make a loop and then then tie then then. No, no, no. <laughs> With this part, this part's going to be like on the end. So you're going to make a loop and then feed it back in there. Okay. Well, why don't you do it, Sterling? Your fingernails are so freaking gross. You should fix that. <laughs> there it is. That's like a noose. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Is that fine? Yep, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Um, on the inside of the top frame, and pull the cable, but taut, but not stretching the spring. The cable we we bent when you pulled. Where the cable will be bent where you pulled it against the tab. What's that mean? So wait right here. This tab right here. Cable doesn't mean. Okay. So we'll pull it tight but not, not to the point where the st string is stretching. Okay. See right here? Look. See how we're doing this? Now it's hard to see this. Yeah, I know. Mom's gonna come get us at nine. Okay, come here. Unless you want me to do this part. Dude, it's a dude. Now, no, it needs to come back out. That's why. That's, that's what they say. I'll just leave it later for now. But it's not. They're not. They, they say they, they show it out of the, the thing. So.